So is there a chat that we're supposed to be responding to, or what? Yeah, do we have a chat? I'll, I'll bring it up. That would be awesome to see. My phone's terrible. I can't watch stuff on my phone. <laughs> All right, so this is Diz Kid Boogie here with Dragon Spook. Hi, guys. Talking to the people. Hey, it's uh, Jordan. What's up, Jordan? Oh, there's the chat. Sweet. Dude, Jordan has been keeping up with me the past couple of days. He is so excited for this to happen. And there's a delay on the stream, so we won't be able to have, like, a quick... Super exciting yeah. conversation. It'll right. be more deep philosophical like we'll, pauses. Like, we'll probably answer <laughs> some questions before they show up on the screen. Yeah, right. <laughs> so we're switching over to... PM it looks like 
Yeah, because it's a good thing Matt's here because I don't know anything about this game. Oh, but it's pretty fun. I played a little ice climbers in it, uh, and they, they weren't as buggy as I was expecting, so that was nice. But they, they just don't feel right, do they? <laughs> they like, don't nothing feel right. feels right in Project M. <laughs> <laughs> but the Event Hubs tier list, like the Event Hubs like community forum, whatever, where everyone discusses stuff, they have ice climbers at the very bottom of the Project M tier list. Oh, and wow. It, and what they do is they give a matchup averages like 5.4, 5.3, 4.7, stuff like that. And they add up the total value of the character based on their pro on their matchups. Mm -hmm. And then they just rank them based on whatever their total matchup value is. And everyone has... So like as you go down the tier list, there's like small gaps like half a point, one point. Mm -hmm. And then big gaps are like five points. Ice Climbers are like 10 or 15 points below anyone else. Oh my goodness. That's how bad people think That's they crazy. are Project M. It's pretty bad. Yeah, it was, I, I saw this uh, this infinite grab we were looking at, and uh, it, it looks like it's sort of a variation on hobbling, which is a brawl technique before they figured out the handoffs. But uh, if that becomes a thing, that could be cool. It looks if like it it's a very, very tight Samus. frame window, though. Unfortunately, the nature of Project M being subject to updates, if they if it does become a thing, they're going to patch it out. That's true. Which yeah, is I, I tried to blizzard someone while I was holding them, and then they got out. Okay, we don't do hand warmers, I don't think. Oh, wait. Maybe just a little bit of hand warmers. Just well, make excuse sure the jab me. Works. <laughs> I've never seen anyone do uh, hand warmers. Jib, jib jab hand check. warmer, and then we go into Excuse me, button Samus. checks. Because it is actually a button check because of custom girl controls. So. Oh, that's right. And then I just remembered uh, <laughs> Keith, the guy on the left on your screen. Yes. He does use a custom control stick. Oh, okay. I'm going to put on my hat. People will probably know this hat. The wizard hat. This is the man who made anyone Hungry who follows, Box a wizard. Anyone who follows Melee will have seen this hat. And this is the <laughs> hat that made Hungry Box a wizard. In his set versus PP last year. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, I was saying uh, Keith does use a custom control set. I don't know what buttons he uses instead, but he uses a custom set. Oh, okay. Word. Now... I don't know what Dan uses in Project M, but in Melee he plays Falco. He plays pretty defensive, pretty much like every standard Falco does. He tries to stay under platforms and shoot lasers to force you to approach from above, and when there's a platform in the way, that's not fun. <laughs> um, Keith plays Samus, and someone told he used to play Sonic in Project M, but then he got hit pretty hard with the most recent update, so he wasn't happy about that. Oh, okay. And someone told me he switched to Jigglypuff. And... Yeah, yeah, Jigglypuff's not as good in Project M yeah. because the reason she's good in Melee is because how she relates to the top tier characters. Right, Her matchups versus top the top tiers top is pretty tier. nice, and right. it's easier to land your rest setups and stuff. In Project M, since the top tiers are all different, her matchups versus them are not very good. Oh, interesting. Also, rest setups are harder to do. Hmm. People also try to say that rest is not as powerful or the hitbox is smaller. I don't think so. Huh. I think they're just complaining about matchups. <laughs> if there is a difference, it's negligible. It's very small. Like, it's there, but it, it's... Okay. We got We're Wolf. Playing as Wolf. Wolf. <laughs> All right, Wolf is like Falcon in that his shine knocks people upward, while Fox just makes them slide on the floor. You can smash the eye down so you don't get popped up off the floor like uh, Keith just did. He And when he's zoning, he can use lasers. They don't go very far, but they're slow traveling, so it, like... Uh, it's more annoying, but it has a shorter range. The other thing is that you can delete Wolf's lasers with air attacks, whereas with Falco's, you can't do anything about it. Huh. And another thing that's really interesting about Wolf's lasers, I, and a couple other characters, I don't know who they are, you, while you're in the air, you can still wave land, even though you're in the laser animation. So you'll see him, oh, wow. like... You'll see him short hop a laser, and then he'll like wave land towards him as an approach, or wave land away for safety. Oh wow! Like right there. Oh, with that slow moving Did you laser, see that? that's a really good Did approach. Yeah, right absolutely. Yeah. I think one of the problems with Wolf is that his he has kill moves, but it's hard to set up for them. Like his back air, it's a lot slower than Fox and Falco's back air, so you can't just throw it out all the time. And his side B is his other main kill move. The uh, oh, wow, down to the nice forward smash. Well, up angle. Um, the other kill move he has, nice down smash. The other kill move he has <laughs> is a side B. Oh, I feel bad for him. The other kill move is the side B. And 
while Fox and Falco's the hitbox is like the line they travel in. Mm -hmm. uh, Wolf's is the is like a big circle where his character model is after the animation's over. So it's like where he's traveling. Keith is getting off. Keith is very good at projectiles, and you, you can't sleep on him. Hmm. And and it's like Samus and oh wow, uh, old school setup missile into into a charge shot. The West. Now now Samus's projectile game is augmented by the fact that she also has her Z air, which is a really quick, basically no lag uh, grab. And it's a hitbox and stuff. It doesn't grab, but it's it, it's so fast. It covers such a big area, and it's basically her alternative when she doesn't have the time for missiles and plasma shot. Hmm. And man. also, the thing that I think is kind of dumb about Project M is uh, tether recoveries have been known to be like way too powerful, and Samus has one of the tether recoveries. Oh, okay. So like in melee, all the tether recoveries. I have a match soon. I'll just finish this thought. Um, tethers, um, they go straight horizontal, and then you have to like aim it at the edge if you want a sweet spot and make the tether recovery like actually work the way you want it to. In this yeah. game, the tether just goes straight for the edge, no matter where you are or what oh, you're doing. Oh, okay. So it's easy mode. So I have a match from Project M. I don't know against who, but. All right, well, good luck back. in it. We'll see you back soon. Yeah. All right, next up for PM, we got Matt versus Ori. Oh, wow, already. <laughs> oh, shots fired. Hey, look, so let me get you. you guys are going to be on the, the PM one that's open, yeah. All right, so I am uh, trying to pull up the chat here. How's it going, Kyle? Doing well. We got Michael Fang joining us here on the commentary. Yeah, what's up? Keith with his Samus just took game one. Fairly convincingly, yeah. we did have one suicide from the wolf, but yeah. Do you have the Twitch app? What? Do you have the Twitch app? Yes, I do. Oh, you do. Oh, can you get the? Uh, can we uh, wrap this around so, like, I'm not, my head's not bent over. There we go. That there we go. Better. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get the. It's an up arrow, dude. See. Uh, chat with and follow. Twitch, and Twitch. Get the Twitch app. Okay, yeah, I want to get. I want to get this chat up. Twitch. Apps go under apps, dog. See if we have anyone talking. Apps, to us. dog. Holy shit! Do you not know how to use a phone? Oh my god. <laughs> um, now see, Dan here. He has solid fundamentals. Comes from melee. Uh, plays a lot of other fighting games, mainly Persona and Marvel. Yeah, he's gonna go with the Sheik here. Oh, okay. Uh, he plays Sheik in melee. And uh, me and him go about even in melee. Uh, I'm, I'm actually kind of rooting for him. Oh, thank you. Oh. You guys are the best. All right, we have the chat. So, uh, what? Uh, this is a pretty small stage. So uh, I think what Dan wants to do is be a little bit more aggressive than uh, be a little bit more aggressive than Keith here. Hmm. It's, uh, Oh, oh wow. that's unfortunate. Yeah, you gotta be gotta yeah. be quick off the edge yeah. with that invincibility, otherwise you get hit by that. In my opinion, he should have stayed wolf. He has a very solid wolf. Mm -hmm. It's just unfortunate that he messed up. Right. Uh, but uh, what I would like to see is uh, just go to one one and go to game three. But it's gonna now, be a tough road now. Ah, that, there's the <laughs> stall. Uh, yeah, that's tricky. So in melee, this is a, a traditionally difficult difficult matchup for Samus. How does it work in PM? Um, the Sheik's aerials no longer have that much knockback. It's still strong, but uh, it's not that much stronger, uh, that that much weaker. Uh, also, her needles don't ca cancel out projectiles like they do in melee. Hmm. Um, she doesn't have a chain grab anymore. And uh, but what she does have instead is a uh, DI traps. So it, you can DI. She can. She has a back throw where if you DI for the down throw, it sets up into a combo perfectly. Where or when she back throws, she you DI for the down throw. Or the other way around, when she down throws, you DI for the back throw. It sets hmm. up into another combo very perfectly as well. Um, it's it's a little bit harder uh, for her to. Uh, I guess quote unquote get in because uh, Samus's projectiles are a little bit better. 
in this game, but it, it's not that much of a difference. I still think that Sheik has the advantage here. Also, uh, Samus' tether grab. And tether grabs in this game are ridiculous. I think it's almost a free recovery. Let's see. He, yeah. If you can get a down smash in here, you can kill. Ooh, but, uh, I think that, he wanted it yeah, right there. Yeah. He just got clipped yeah. by that up B. If he... Oh, no. <laughs> that, that's a good four. It's notice there the four there didn't kill even at 131, so it's considerably weaker. But uh, if he if he can... Oh, another thing she has on the stage is she has the ability to kill off the top with her up smash for Randall, well. but just uh, too far uh, back. Les is looking grim for uh, Dan the Man here. Uh, I think he needs to utilize... Her back air is still just as good. And I feel like he should utilize it a lot more. It's, uh... See, what, what he needs to do is keep doing that ducking in and out. If he can continue this combo, but uh, Samus breaks it with the neutral air. Hmm. Uh, Samus's neutral air is actually really good in this. It has slightly different properties, but it still fulfills the same purpose as a combo breaker. And uh, it's also a pretty good... Uh, combo starter if you have uh, charge shot loaded and ready. Uh, that's a good double missile. Wonder if, uh, I think uh, Key should should definitely use a lot more of those. Oh, uh, also, in this game, Samus has uh, her tether. Her tether is an attack that uh, that you can use kind of like uh, in the, air, the, the yeah. Z in the air. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he evened this up. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get a proper gimp in. It's, it should be pretty hard on Samus, though. You can't exactly gimp a Samus in this game. Either. Right. Uh, see, he, he runs right into that forward air. He's got to stop doing that. Oh, that's unfortunate. And there it is. Keith yeah. takes it 2 0. 2 0. I, I think he should have stayed wolf. Hmm. Uh, Keith won. Who do we have next on the stream, Kellen? Doug and Elijah. Have we restarted it already? We're just, I'm just doing losers because like, it, it goes better that way. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> so let's uh. open one here? Yeah, we just got, we just opened up. Oh, and then we opened up here too. So if you want. Right. Let's get some, uh, let's get some premier matches up on the screen though. These or you want some of these? I want some of these. Yeah. We'll put you on stream. All right, so I next. We got James versus Kellen on stream for PM. You have a way to uh, make this not keep turning off? I don't know. <laughs> We're about to find out, though. Uh, where's my settings? Yeah, we're just trying trying to get in touch with the chat. Yeah, but get, get it's up still it phone. still updates even though. Uh, Oh snap! Uh, le yeah, let's do our plugs. Uh, thank you to Bombi from Alaska Gamers oh to uh, come here and oh set God. this up. <laughs> oh snap! And uh, here, here we're about to, s and then uh, join our Alaska Smash group on Facebook. Oh what we have here, Kellen, is uh, breaking out the bongo drums to play PM with. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Uh, it's actually you can short hop with. Yeah, you can short hop and do aerials with it, so it's it's interesting. You can also shield too. <laughs> so, you know, there's that. Is it right under there? I don't know. Okay, yeah. sweet. Oh, he really does use the bongos. Yeah. Yeah, sure. All right. All right, I got a match. Next oh, right on. We got Kyle versus Tom. James versus Kellen. K E L L E N. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh the one the PM set set up closest to the left. That one right there. Yeah. Oh my. If uh. Oh cool. What the hell? What's up? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm only, I'm only, I'm only um, putting the names on based on what you're talking about. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, alright. All right. So, uh, James is going to be playing as player one, uh, as the Falco here, and then Kellen's doing, uh, Kellen's playing as Fox, actually. That's interesting. Even though he normally mains, like, a Samus or, uh, Captain Falcon. I, he plays all those characters except Fox. He doesn't, uh, I don't think he's had that much practice. Uh, James has recently picked up Falco, and uh, he's he's improved uh, considerably. He knows the combos very well, and he has strong, uh, solid fundamentals from playing as Sheik to begin with, uh, coming from melee. Right now, it's just uh, old school thrashing that we see right here. Could uh, this be a possible four stock for James? What uh, what? What Kellen can do in this matchup is, uh, you know, just a good old shine spike. Uh, and whenever James recovers with that side B, he needs to be able—he needs to down smash it. He needs to be able to react to it. Uh, not unlike that, but I felt like a spike would have done a better job there. A down smash will secure the kill right there on Kellen. Uh, this is a very good level for Falco because it's it's extremely small. The platforms help him combo. He can kill off the top with it, uh, and a and a strong up smash, re, uh, and a strong up smash coming in from Kellen. I don't know what that pause was about. And James takes it with a solid three stock lead, the JV four stock on Kellen. I guess they're going to Battlefield. Uh, James doesn't really care which stage they play on, unless it's like Grand Finals or something. Or unless he's playing against Matt. Uh, this should provide, this stage should provide a little bit more room for uh, Kellen to run around. Uh, Battlefield is normally like a fundamentals test uh, to see if the other player can combo well. Hey, you want to commentate with me? Okay. Uh, yeah, of course I'm ready to do a match. And just just randomly charging a up smash right there, hoping James would run into it. It's not. You have to do a little bit better than that, Kellen. And he's gonna stuff that down air. Uh, Falco's down air is considerably weaker in this game, but uh, it's it's not it's not that much where you can't pillar like that. But uh. Another thing uh, these guys can do on each other is uh, up throw. Actually, don't don't back throw these guys. Although I think Helen was trying to get James off the stage there. Uh, up throw to back air combos works on both of these characters. No, let's not run into that. There you go, Kellen. And a solid up throw, up air to s to finish off that stock. Let's see if we can stack on some percentage here before uh, Kellen dies. Catches him with the back air. Not much going on this year. Uh, James is at one. James is up one zero. -oh. And uh, Spike. James with a three solid three stock lead right now. Kellen can still come back from this. Just get him off the stage. Throw out a shine. Shine Spike him. And then uh, just do that three times and he should be able to get there. Uh, he should be, no, oh, there you go. And that seals, just just two shine spikes. Kellen, oh, that's all Kellen needs to make this 1-1. Uh, another, another reason why Falco is solid on this stage is because uh, the platforms, again, once again, help his combo. You can actually uh, follow, you can tech chase if they're knocked onto the platform with the shine and continue his combo. Uh, Fox can run around and evade pretty easily on the platform. Is that... Uh, am I up? Yeah, yeah, you're gonna be up. Alright, sounds good. Uh, it's uh, Poots Magoots. It is 8.04pm in... Uh, oh, Bombie's already got that. Yeah. Alright, next up on PM we got... Michael Fang versus Jaren. Okay, I, my my uh, match just got called. TV so, four. wait, me? Yeah. Is yeah, that the stream TV? No. no. Oh. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, all right, right. Sounds good. Uh, Let's go. Next up for PM on stream, we got Kenny versus Swiss. I'm on 
So we got uh, Kenny and Swiss going on next. Kenny and Swiss? Yeah. Swiss, Kenny. Pete, I promise commentary is easy. What? I promise commentary is easy. You just talk. Meta Knight. Apparently, Swiss has been going a lot of Meta Knight lately. I haven't seen his gameplay on it. He's been playing Meta Knight for a long time. Mostly because I only play him at uh, Melee, though, so. Right. Uh huh. He's got really solid fundamentals. Dude, what I like about the change they made with Meta Knight is they gave him his down air back instead of that retarded dive kick. Uh -huh. And they, and they, and they. It's they like the only thing that thing was really that useful for is like suicide stocks, because uh -huh. you could meteor cancel out of like each of the individual hits, but you had to keep doing it over and over and over. So it was like, what's the point oh. of being able to? Uh, there we go. We could do that as well if that works. Now, if anyone's going to become one of our new best players, it's going to be Swiss. And it's cool that he uses a character that, it, you know, it sounds dumb saying this, but Meta Knight's not really played a whole lot. At least not anymore. There's, like, very few Meta Knight players. Well, because there's that old stigma attached because of the Brawl nonsense. Yeah, and that's exactly what it is, is nonsense. But this Kenny guy is double shining. Just saying, very impressive. Ooh. Yeah, Wolf's up B, I was about to mention the kills. I said that kill earlier move. in case anyone doesn't. I, I just had to explain it because uh, this kid doesn't play Project M, so he's still learning the ropes. Oh man. Oh, oh. why didn't he shorten that? Uh, because it is pretty fast. <laughs> Ah, uh, a good down air. Yeah. Couldn't punish that get up attack because of the slope of Yoshi's. Yoshi's slope. I don't like, even though I'm a Marth player, I don't like it either. Because if you space your stuff right with Marth, you should not you have you should not be able to utilize the slope. Swiss was on the offensive for the second. Now he'll. They're playing that middle game. Oh, Swiss gets Usually. a good combo. Oh, and man. Charges up a He's just smash. like, I got hit by it once, but never again. I dare you to keep trying it. Nice pun. Oh. Ooh. Oh, my oh, God. He, he you see this? this time. He's just like, he's like, please do it some more. By the way, Meta Knight's up smash out of shield is so fast. I swear it has invincibility. Ah. Oh. The dimensional cape, that move is so strong if it hits you. It's it's like stronger than a knee. It's, it's ridiculous. And it's so fast. The thing is that if it misses, you're obviously in your Well, right. it's a recovery move, right? It's, it's, it's no, I mean, like, it's actually it's actually an offense move now. So you can, like, Meta Knight has a short range. So you can use it for some moves, for, to combo with some moves. And then at the end of your combo, you just tag that on at the end because it has a little bit of reach because he teleports. And it's... And it's the perfect combo finisher because it's the strongest move he has by far. All right, so Swiss gets the first game. S yes, Swiss. Swiss, that black and purple hoodie wearing man over there. And the glasses. So they're going through bands. And the black hair. <laughs> All right, next up for BM, we got Josh versus Michael B. And looks like they're going to WarioWare Incorporated. It's an interesting stage with platforms on the sides. This stage the is so cramped, dude. You have, like, no room to do anything here. 
the boundaries are so small, the ceiling is small, the horizontal boundaries are small, the platforms are right in your grill. So you could say it's similar to Yoshi's and those blast zones? Are yeah. I think it's even worse than Yoshi's because the, co the platforms are even more cramped. I mean, like, the boundaries are bigger, sure, but the fact that the platforms and your ability to move around on the stage is more cramped, and that's what matters. Hello, row towards me so I can catch you with this giant up smash hitbox. Oh, adaptation. Man, I got hit by that move three times less game, so I'm not going to do that anymore. Good day. Oh. What is that? I don't know. Ian just handed me his phone. I'm going to do something nonsensical with it. Alright, Swiss taking commanding lead here. You should, like, open up the SCP archive and give him a random article to read. Ooh. Yeah, Tornado is not that good anymore. Can you mash it to make it raise? Like other oh, B moves? Oh, or? You can, but it's not as effective. It's nowhere near as effective as it used to be. Ooh, Ooh, that great trailer. edge guard. Yeah, his he is not afraid to go off and hit you with a neutral air. Well, he's That's got multiple jumps and a sword to get back. It's pretty solid. Well, I mean, like, a lot of players, when you when like when you watch Men and I play, it's like, yeah, it makes sense. But when you play as him, he's, he's a fast faller. He's really heavy. And he has bad air movement, so it, it makes you feel like you can't go off the stage or also die, despite having a bunch of jumps and a bunch of recovery moves. Oh, back throw? No, nope. uh, he was going for some cheese to kill off the top. Ah. <laughs> he's uh, he's upgrading it to the to the down B stuff. Also, his back air is way is so good now. I, although I don't agree with that dimensional KP pull, but he still pulled it out pretty so, pretty yeah. handily. Swiss takes it 2-0. Meta Knight, Meta Knigets, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I wish I was out there watching Kyle play because he tried Ice Climbers and they just don't feel right. So well, he's been playing Marth. A lot of characters are completely different in this game. As much as they tried to make them spot like closer on. Next up on stream, we got Chris versus Matt. Yeah, you're right. I have a match, so uh oh, I'll be back. All right, you'll get to see me because I'm on stream. Ouch. Apologies for that massive feedback spike. All right. So. Yeah, we go, it's Matt versus Chris. Oh, it's Chris and Matt. Chris and Matt. So here we are. We got Chris and Matt. Matt, one of the more, uh, one of the most prominent pla uh, Smash players. Less okay. prominent? Yeah, the Less most. The most. He's yeah, uh, no one. He's I don't, he's I don't know who that guy he's, is he's with uh, his hat. And yeah, he is the best match player in Alaska, you know. Yep. <laughs> well, that, that's that's There's to be determined like as of yeah. today. I know, right? Well, uh, we got we got that SoCal guy, Kyle Athahade, in town right now. So, well, we'll see. Ooh. He's either gonna oh, uh, go for Ness. This is gonna be entertaining. Uh, I think I think he is gonna go for Ness. Ness, uh, is, Ness has got some really great chains, and Matt and Matt's shown me that they're. They're pretty powerful, and it's just like they got combo into a grab, down throw, do it again. Well, this I, I, don't, I don't mean to discount this guy, but uh, you know it's it's tough, man, going up against Matt in tournament. You know, you got you got that uh, pressure of you got the tournament pressure facing the best player pressure. You know, it's, uh, and that hat, man, that hat's really intimidating. Uh, uh, 
You get used to it. You, well, well, also, actually, it's actually a good call because it hides his facial expression, so you can't really read him as easily if you look over at him. Nah, man, it's not. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Who, me? Oh, man, I want to go outside. Can you commentate, please? Get in on this, yeah. All right. Hello. So who's playing Matt and Matt and Chris are playing. Who's Chris playing? Um, Chris playing Squirtle. Okay. So, <laughs> so good. L so you'll 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 good be commenting on all of that because uh, I have no idea what Squirtle does. <laughs> um, pretty much nonsense. He's really fast. Um, he added some neat pivot things in 3.0. I think they took them out in 3.5. Okay. So um, his up B is really easily gimpable because it goes at a very specified angle, and it's also slow. It's pretty much the same angle as uh, Wolf's, shine, Wolf's uh, up B. Or and then Rock Scissors papering. And all right, Matt's going to pick the staged band first. Banning the home field advantage. Dreamland's a pretty solid band. Smashville. So they're going to Yoshi's or are they going to Fountain? Going to Yoshi's, Yoshi's story, huh? All right. Three, two, oh, he's playing us. Yep. Go! Rocking the flare tag for some reason. Yep. So yeah, all of Ness's aerials can combo into each other. They got rid of all the the on shield explosion of his forward B. Oh. Didn't realize Randall was there for him, and he just immediately did a raw up off after landing on it. And uh, oh yeah, Ness's back throw is really good. Yeah, it's always been good. I feel yeah, like. just he had no, no other tools available to him, but like like right there, Ooh, with the grab. Is Matt playing Ness right now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that's not Matt Smart. Shout out to this banging soundtrack from Bryce's setup. Oh, oh. oh and this down air spikes. Huh. Yeah, there's an amazingly large hitbox on it. Oh, that sucks. That was a. Uh... Ooh! So, so Nessa's up taunt. It's normally just does the head nod. But if you double tap it really quickly, it does the say say cheese thing. And he takes the picture and makes the screen flash. Oh, that's cool. Just running it back, or thinks Matt's explaining to him how the stage band pick works. Oh, okay. Chris is thinking about what what he can possibly do against small, lar large-headed children. <laughs> Dude, seriously, the guy's got Char Charlie Brown syndrome. It's pretty tough. One to Matt. And they're going to FD. Um, one, go! The flat stage. I don't know if this will give either of them an advantage. Huh? No, I, I'm not saying much, dude. I'm just like <laughs> just Jared, watching what's coming up. Get on the PM setup. Let's go. 
Uh, doing some short hop lasers. Ooh. That just has really good combos against spaces, I think. Yeah. I mean, that's not the only thing, but like, you know, like, FD makes it pretty easy to do that kind of stuff. Because if there was platforms, you had to tech read. Yeah. Bryce and James on deck for the spring! He's too small. <laughs> Just trying out, throw out a raw forward smash and he's getting punished for it. Ooh. Don't know why he just threw out a laser there. Uh -huh. He keeps trying to, I, I don't know if, what he's, if he's like failing shines or something. It's twice he's just tried to throw a laser on the ground. And I don't know, I feel like it. these lasers are way too high. They, he's got to be fast falling. Yeah. Right? You've got to fast fall it, otherwise they just won't hit. Yeah, like they're way too high. Oh, back there. Misses the L cancel, gets punished. He just he really wants to finish that stock, so he's gonna keep throwing forward smashes, and it's not gonna get there. Yeah, you gotta play a little bit more. Yeah. You're not just gonna surprise Matt with a random forward smash. He plays against Mike too much, and ooh, just takes that stock. Oh, oh there we go. Yeah, you really when they're that high of a percent, just go for an aerial. Really, back, yeah. like backer should be your go-to. I think as Falco, so. Yeah. Oh, nice. scared. Is he gonna make it back from this? Ooh. Ooh. Oh. And the spike. So Matt takes it 2 0 against Chris. TSM won. <laughs> All right, so next we got James and Bryce. Is this a, is this gonna be a sheet mirror? Um, I don't really know who, who Bryce plays in PM. Like he might be going for Sheik, but he might have some super secret tech that he might bring out. Who knows? Because he does play against Ori in the Valley, and Ori's got a really solid Lucario. So, going for the Vampire Peach. Oh, uh, they're just, they're probably just doing hand warmers here. Unless they're just going straight for it. I guess they're going straight for it, just random staged it up. Yeah, that's pretty bad because the first stage was totally a level for uh, Peach. Bryce I mean, just throwing out raw down smashes, trying to catch him in something, but those it doesn't work. It will not work on James, and he's just going to punish you for it. Ooh, good down air to forward smash combo there. He just down smash still just as potent and lethal in Project M as it is in Melee. That's good. <laughs> no, it's not. It's horrible. <laughs> I'm trying to go for the combo for uh, the counter for some reason. I don't. I don't oh, agree it gives him like air, air mo mo it, I guess it stalls for yeah, a second. Exactly. Ooh, drop the shield right before getting hit by that. I mean, but I don't see what why you would need to do that because you could float. Yeah. So. Up throw is sick. <laughs> Well, doesn't uh, jump high shit. enough up. Well, there we go. Gets the conversion. Ooh, gets the grab combo. And the raw forward smash after the laser fall up should be a kill. Oh, but it, wait, it's Peach. Bryce not edge guarding at all, just letting him get back to the stage for free. Hello, one Demon Fang back on the mic. Uh, here we go. We got uh, James versus Bryce. Uh, what Bryce needs to do is he needs to stop 
He needs to go out there, man. Yeah, he, he needs to actually afraid. ledge guard. Yeah, well, uh, it's okay for Peach to float out there against uh, Falco yeah. nowadays. Like, it's, yeah, he can't yeah. he can't hover around like that. Well, let's see if. Oh, oh, oh! Very nice uh, umbrella tricks there. Uh, what Bryce should try to do is uh, nair back onto the stage, just to get Falco off his back when he's trying to Ooh. recover and get some strong with the side B. B. Yeah. I think James might switch to Sheik after this. Yeah, uh, I don't if know. He, if, he if he if he doesn't get it, yeah. it's, it's actually being a lot closer than I was expecting yeah. it to be. Bryce uh, needs to play a little smarter though. He's he's letting James get back onto the stage for free, and he's not he's not being as a, uh, aggressive as he should be. James can't. Uh, James needs to get more than just like one, you know, three hit combos in. Yeah, that's a good uh, that's a good tech chase, but uh, and let's see if we can get anything yep, out of this throw. Yeah, chain grab. Yep. Misses uh, the third yeah, one. Yep. But oh, he's gonna go up. Oh, and see, yep. yeah. Uh, yeah, he's, he's just had, edge had, guarding. Yeah, had, forward smash is not gonna cut it. He yeah. Might cut it in smash four, but not this. He needs to. He needs to get out there and like nair him or something. Yeah. cancel nair. Yeah, you because Falco's up B. You yeah. don't have anything in the fire. Oh, got uh, the bomb yeah. and just tossed it off the That's side. That's fine. You treat all the other projectiles like you would in a turn it. Yep. Yeah. See, he's just floating on the side there. He needs to go out there and meet Falco halfway. Yeah. And he keeps and trading with him. Yeah. With these. Let's see if he's going to... Yeah, it gets back. Yeah. Oh, it's going to back throw? No. Yeah, when Peach trades with Falco off the stage, it's always in Peach's favor. Like, yeah. it's the... It's, you always want to trade with Falco off the stage. Ooh. Ooh. And uh, the preemptive forward smash is red right there. I think James is definitely going to... Oh, and uh, Bryce is running a charity here. Giving away those stocks. Yeah. Uh, being the poor with stock. Chicken stock. With turnip stock. Ooh. There we go. Giving them vegetable soup. Good check chase. Yeah. Punishes more, the more, more needs more no, down smash. Needs right. more down smash. Yeah, yeah. down smash per second. Man. More DPS. Uh, let's see if we can continue this no. combo. See, no, he needs to get in there. Man. Yeah, he just drops yeah. it. Everyone's playing really passively right uh, now. Uh, it still could be anyone's game, but. But uh, one good edge guard, just trade, just get him off the station trade yeah. with him, Bryce, and then you got Ooh. this. I think he's gonna seal the deal with the down air right here. Oh Ooh. no, it's a forward smash. Forward smash. Yeah, but Dreamland saves him. Thank you, Dreamland. Hashtag shoutouts. That you, you need to, yeah. There we go. Get he needs to there. just keep going, get to the top platform. Uh, let's not run into those there. His shield, size shield's, of the M and M, yeah. Shield's really low. Uh, oh, oh it gets the down smash in. Right here is where. <laughs> James should have down aired, but uh, it didn't happen. Uh, let's see if he gets the tech chase in air. No? Back no. air? Yeah. Back throw? No, get off there. No, no, get out of there in. and freaking. Oh, oh my, my god. god, he should have just float canceled bear. Uh, He's making this a lot more difficult yeah. for himself than yeah. he should be. Yeah, he, like all those kill opportunities just missed. Yeah, I think James is looking for a back air as yeah. well. See, there we there go. go. Yeah, uh, yeah no, almost. Yeah. But, uh, oh. Land. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, yep, and runs right into the forward <sighs> smash. Uh, yeah, Bryce just needs to actually get out there and yeah. edge guard. That's getting one. Yeah. Oh, James Stan as Falco. Uh, yeah. The shorter ceiling should help uh, James out, but I don't know if he knows how to kill off the top here. Yeah. The, but the side's going for the random stage taken mm -hmm. as normal. Yeah. He doesn't really care unless it's grand finals. Yeah. Oh, and then he'll still do it. Yeah. James yeah, got yeah, one. Yeah, James got one. What uh I mean Bryce needs to pick up on this right now. He once once Falco's off the stage, you gotta you gotta hit him once. Yeah, just you, fucking trade with him, you know? yeah. Just smack him once yeah. with anything. You, yeah. Even throw a turnip or something, yeah. but like see there. Get a see right there, there, you gotta go out there again. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you gotta it. remember that the the Firefox doesn't have any hitbox on it when he's charging it up. It doesn't even matter. Even if he managed to starts traveling with the Firefox, Peach can trade with uh, any distance of yeah. Falco's Firefox, and it would just kill him immediately. Yeah, you have to get out there and bully Falco. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, he's gonna just bully you back. Uh, All right, now get, out, get out there. Yeah, and just tries the, for the edge yeah. guard. Yeah, he should have back aired again. Yeah. yeah. God, Mike, you just never get a rest. Yeah. Apparently, I'm on. I'm next up on stream. Let's hope nice. uh, we get a decent commentator. Uh, yep. It's, it's still okay. He's still fifty six percent. He can make up the difference pretty easily, especially as she, as Peach. Back air, go Jump for the gift. All right, no. there he, he oh, actually no. tried something. Yeah, but uh, I think he should have flow canceled Nared instead. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, doesn't I think spike because yeah. it's got too much tra distance to travel, but. Yeah. James going for those forward smash kills, and it's not exactly working out for him. Yeah, uh, well, it is uh, now. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, Falco, Falco spike may be weaker in this game, but, uh, oh, yeah, he needs to go out there right now. But, yeah. uh, nope, not, it doesn't happen again. Is he again. just afraid of getting spiked by the forward beat, or Yeah, what? I think so. He doesn't realize that that's a meteor, I think. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Wait, wait, hurry back with it. I have a match coming up next. Oh, yeah. Back throw? Oh no. It goes again. See, James could have gone gone out for the spike there. He has a strong lead. He shouldn't, like, even if Peach trades with him, whatever. Whoever's closer to the stage, the trade will work out in their favor. Yeah. Uh, Price's edge guarding is not on point today. Uh, oh, there oh, we go. Yeah. But, no, yep, yep. Uh, the turn Falco. Yep. Okay. Ooh. Oh, and uh, charity stuff from Bryce here. Yeah, oh, Bryce is throwing him out. Oh. He just doesn't want to win it, apparently. Like, Bryce is getting these solid combos, these solid damage on the Falco here. He just can't finish his food. And I don't think that uh, he knows. Uh, trades work out in Peach's favor. Especially when yeah. Falco's off stage. Yeah. But he hasn't gone out once, I think. He's just been trying to throw turnips and oh, oh gets there the we stitch go. and yep. re-grabs it. Yeah. Ooh, does, uh, goes for the taunt. Yeah. If he gets one more, uh, he doesn't have that anymore. Yep, he stitch it. drop. No, just back here, dude. Just back, back here. Uh, nope, he should have gone out there. That would be a perfect charging. gimp. Yeah. Up throw? Yep. Up throw. Nope, should have grabbed again. Nope. Yeah. He's going to go for the forward smash, and that should be it. No. no? Yeah. Go out there and down air him. Falco. No. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Uh, All right. So James takes it over Bryce, 2-0. Uh, All right. Mike's going to set down the mic very carefully this time. Uh, hey, Bryce. He's going to go on stream. All right. Next up on stream, we got Kyle versus Michael Fang. You got you to gotta get back. Yeah. Like, okay. You just let him get back for free. I totally did. Uh, Let's do this. Be careful with the ah. Uh, am I am I good? Yeah, but when picking up the mic or setting it down, you gotta be careful or else Bobby's ears are gonna explode. All right, Bobby. Uh, well, hello, stream. Uh, this is Alaska Smash 101. You just saw me lose to James because I missed several <laughs> classic Peach edge guard nares. That's great. So we got a Bobby throwing up some mm -hmm. Valentine's Day cards. Smash related. Now we got Diz Kid Boogie against Fang. This will be interesting to see. Uh, are they doing hand warmers or are they just going straight to the thing? I think they're just going They're going in? All right. Fang with his classic bread and butter Falco. Yeah, so you, you just down air to shine, and down air to shine, man. Rinse and repeat. All right. Well, this is interesting because this kid plays ICs in melee. Yep, not. and he's able to do the handoff pretty well without suffering anything, so. Yeah. I personally don't know how Ice Timers are any different in Project M, so. Well, they have, they should have the same desyncs as melee as far as I know, but they also have the Brawl desyncs mixed yeah. in. And the timings are really yeah. much. And I think their wobbling doesn't happen in this. Well, he's yeah. definitely getting that handoff. Yeah, the handoffs still that. count. He, but he's also doing the same mistakes as Ryzen. He's not, he's not uh, edge guard in Falco. <laughs> oh, that's a illusion. is not going to get there. You got to stay in the middle on Falco or else you are dead. Mike's trying to go for the, actually, um, Popo is the secondary ice climber yeah. for Diz's colors, if you noticed. Nana's actually doing all the, the real thinking, as is typical. Ooh, he gets that good power shield. Trying to take Popo out of there. Uh, if Mike was thinking right, he would have definitely knocked out Popo when he had the chance. Like uh, right, right there, yeah. he should have stayed on the top platform and left in a forward smash. But he still gets the stock. He's got a lot of work. He's got six ice climbers to kill still. <laughs> well, you know, I'd say Diz Kid is 
one of the top ice climbers in the world. Maybe top 10, I don't know. Well, how many ice climbers are there in the world, 10? Yeah. <laughs> no, no disrespect yeah, intended. Just, yeah. yeah, he's great. He's a great person, great player. Really glad he came up here. He taught me a thing or two. Oh, he, he gave me the crash course in the Peach Ices matchup. And yeah. it was, uh, I knew even less than I thought I could. And that's the thing, he's the type of guy who... He's the type of guy who'll he'll talk you th through like what you're doing wrong and like while you're playing friendlies and while like, ooh, oh. Popo just goes, goes far away. And this is so close. Oh. Still, well, sorry, so Nana. <laughs> still, so, still something to deal with. Ooh, takes yeah, her out. So Mike's got another, another four more ice climbers to deal with. See if he can put it there. If he's just gonna choke. Hey, I think he can take another stock off of this. I, he can at least get another stock if he's careful. It takes a lot to kill people with ice climbers, and Mike's Mike's realizing not to get grabbed now. Mm. Um, and that's ooh, it. he just had no jump or just let himself die. Let's see if Fox switches. Uh, Fox, Mike switches to Link. Uh, you know. Ooh, oh, I interesting. It Fox. Wow. I've never seen Fang's Fox to be um, honest. It's. Eh, it's Fang playing Fox. Mm. <laughs> it would be what you would expect from someone who plays Falco. Well, he can still dare shine. Yeah, so. and he goes for a lot of up smashes and powerful moves. Um, Mike doesn't multi-shine or anything like that or wave shine, so this might be interesting. It might just be a panic pick for Mike, Yeah, but we'll see here what happens. He, uh, he was in Wasilla, and he saw Jordan wave shine, and he said, these kids nowadays... So he's he's an old. No, yeah, <laughs> you would say using his own terminology, Mike's just an old sourdough. Yeah, that's for sure. Okay. Oh, gets the handoff. This should be a stock. Ooh, drops out of it. Now, if Wobbling was in Project M, this would be over a lot. Yeah, sure. Ooh. Mike's Fox mm. is actually really on point. He's got really good spacing, really good movement. It's a lot different than his Falcon. I'm kind of surprised. Ooh. Ah. Uh. Yeah. It's no, good. it sounds good. It's good. Diz is definitely one of the nicest people I've ever met. Yeah. Literally, he is a pleasure. Oh, 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 there he goes. Let's him kill himself. Just oh, God, got him burnt. Oh, oh, ooh, wow. Oh, the up there. Yeah, Mana's still mm. putting in work here. He's got a Mana 100% uh, down takes smash. down the Fox. Well. Ooh. There. Landed it. This kid. But, all right. Mike just yells out, oh my gosh. <laughs> he knows he did something wrong. Oh, he lets him get up. Yeah, it's looking pretty grim at this point, but bang, who knows? Uh, he's got he's Miracles got can happen, man. Oh, that wave shine, he does do it. <laughs> oh, separates Logan. him, separates him. Doesn't go after mm. Popo, though. When you, like, that's the thing. When you, when you separate him or, or knock off, you need to take out the main. Yeah, for sure. I'm sorry, you need to take out the secondary because yeah. um, the main uh, can still think. The secondary is just going to work, like goes to CPU mode and has to Super walk easy to get. all the way back. And so you can you can just raw forward smash or do something. Handoffs, this sh could mm. be the stock. No. I think he needed to get him near the ledge for that to be a long term. All right. Going to go for the forward smash. Yep, uh, there we go, okay. and that's the game. This that Boogie it. takes it two to zero over Mike Fang. Fang put up a hearty fight. We got Keith and Marlin. All right, so we got Keith and Marlin coming up next on the. Marlin is he one of the Santorino brothers? I'm pronouncing that wrong. Sorry. Yeah, why'd you go Fox? I don't want to fuck with my Falcon there. Yeah, that's uh, that's my thing too. Good call. I can play Fox and PM too. That's why my Fox is amazing in PM. I've never played him. <laughs> this will be interesting. Um, 
I believe we have a, a Roy and Samus matchup here. Yeah, I've seen, actually, Samus is pretty solid. Keith is great. He's very much a Project M Samus, though. Um, does he, he does a lot of Project M gimmicks, like the Zare and, and stuff like that. He's not so much a, a melee player, from what I know. What about, like, the ice or fire gimmicks? Does he take advantage of that? or? I, I think he's an ice guy. Yeah, yeah shout-outs to C. Dirks over here. Oh, the man. The man with the master he's, plan. He's running the brackets, and then we got we got Evom up in front of us, who's Fang doing the, in the stream. back there looking... Eating an ice cream cone. Yeah. Three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tap jump is off. Ooh. Yeah, Keith has custom moves as well. So oh, that's some nonsense. Back in my day. <laughs> <laughs> we only play with <laughs> Back in my day we didn't use a C stick because we were casual. Ooh, so we going for Roy. Yep. He does a lot of uh side B turnaround shenanigans that Really yeah, people don't expect me. that because you're like, oh, it's just he's just gonna swords dance regularly. Yeah, but he's got that turnaround before the last hit, which is pretty solid. Mm -hmm. You know, if I was a betting man, I'd go for Keith here, but um, I think uh, is it Saturnino, Santorino, Saturnino, Saturnino brothers, Spanish Filipino. The hey, not to be racist, but they are great video game players. So let's be real here. <laughs> Ooh. Custom music, oh, yeah, thanks to Ori Watts. Which is the switches oh. to the the fire, the ice. I don't know what's going on. I think this is a warm up here, clearly. Oh, Ooh. oh super wave Showing dash. Showing off. All right, now is this for real? Is this this real is for reals? realsies. All right, this is for the realsies. We're not getting like those four minute mm. button checks like some <laughs> places. <laughs> Shouts to Apex. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Guarding with those missiles. Okay. Ooh. Raw up smash. Wow, well, went for the, the went Ken for the combo. Ken combo, but <laughs> it, it would have worked if you were, you know, a different, better character. <laughs> hey, that's debatable, sir. Uh, oh yeah. Sorry, this game is. <laughs> oh, look this at This game that. is nonsense. Jade would be Keith. He's the character on the left there. And Marlin is the Roy player. Oh, our chat talking smack again. Okay, I'm totally down for this. Not these, wait, oh. Oh, okay. okay. I've, I've, Never heard of Diz Kid. Well, I've seen matches of him, but he is a great guy. Um, okay, I cannot keep up with the stream. I'm just gonna watch the match. Fuck these guys. Screw these guys. Oh, I oh my homie Brennan in the chat. Shoutouts to Brennan. Everyone in the chat. Oh, that's great. Alright, oh, just look a raw board smash out of nowhere. This is close. Um, Jordova, I don't believe Caleb is competing. Um, he's he's working. So he's actually running the brackets. Though it would be cool if he did. Are you playing? Well, this just in, Caleb may be playing. In melee maybe, tonight, maybe so keep an eye out. In melee, it's a possibility. It'll be a treat. Oh, he's doing the. He's, he's doing the. Yes, uh, Anka Bebop is the guy from the group with the corgi profile that talks a lot of smack, but he's actually a really nice guy. In melee. Okay, hit him <sighs> with the nair. It's so, like... stocks are tied up. Throwing out aerials. Nah, Ooh. hit him with the full charge. Zare. Oh. Double Zare. He always goes for the double Zare, I've noticed. Ooh, goes for the counter, which I think is, is any of the Swords characters' Ooh. worst moves, personally. If, if you could counter something, there's like any other thing you could do yeah. that actually puts out a hitbox as opposed to. See, like that. You could have forward aired yeah. that and killed that projectile. Instead, he just ate the damage from it. Just tries to edge guard with 
tether smash so. attacks, which is just strange. Ah, there Ooh, catches him with the for with sword stance. Keith is kind of bringing it back, though. We'll see. Oh, Ooh. looks is he like this, this might stock? be it. No, Roy's recovery oh. is a lot better in this. Went for that risky offstage nair yeah. sex kick. Oh, just that is charging up fully charged. Full that smash. was terrible. And just eats a super missile to the face. Grabs. This is it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the Hancock, I believe that's called. <laughs> Someone just yelled out, well, that's stronger. It definitely <laughs> is. Yeah, they buffed it. Okay, he needs to be careful with that shield. Ooh. Raw up B. Gets it. All right, let's see if he can get a combo off of this. Nope. They're just trading back and forth, so this is anyone's game at this point. Yeah, I don't think Samus is easy to a uh, combo. <laughs> okay. Oh, misses the Swords Dance combo. That, see, doubles there, yeah, I told doubles you. there. Ooh, oh, gets the forward smash, and that's God. game to... Marlin. Marlin got it? Marlin of the Sat Saturino brothers. The Saturnino's. I'm sure we'll see more of them. Now it's 1-0. Um, <laughs> Bobby, I think are I you playing? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Bobby. You should start playing this game. Yeah, It'd be great. Sure. I'll teach you how to L cancel. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby's just shaking his head. <laughs> yeah, if Keith gets a chance, he's going to go Pokemon Stadium, I'm guessing. Oh, going to Stadium 1 or 2? Two? 2, I would think. I didn't know you could switch them. I, yeah, I, I haven't played just, Pokemon Stadium 1 on yeah, Project M before. Apparently you can, because he just like struck it and it changed the picture. Yeah. So that changes things. There he goes, like I suspected. All right, he goes for the Zare. Oh, he didn't double it up that time. Oh, oh no, he did. Zare. Damn it. So, so that's really predictable if uh, Marlin catches on to that. <sighs> Well, he went for a grab that time, let's be real. Yeah. So he's gonna do it again. It is effective though, but it doesn't have a whole lot of knockback. It damage. doesn't it just it just puts on a little bit of damage. It's it better than the melee. Yeah. Ooh, that upbeat just gets right back there. Keith's rocket game, Jade's rocket game is usually really on point. Yeah. Know? And he will hit you with those charge shots if he gets a chance. Ooh, oh, that power uh, shield! My God, that, that was power shield that was, was beautiful. Amazing, and gets uh, reads the roll off the edge to get the forward smash in. Ah, uh, the it's gonna bomb go recovery. for the no. Mmm, that was janky. Uh, you roll. I and think his got roll like was the four timing. frames where you can't actually grab the ledge. So, all right, they're just it's like they're shadow boxing. They're just keep hitting people and throwing out normals and trying to get somewhere. Down smash, classic Samus tactic. Yep. Shout outs to Jordan. Yeah, keeps trying to counter missiles. I don't know what he's thinking there. Yeah, I don't know how effective. I would rather just jump. Yeah. All right. Oh, here we go. Mm, oh. Nair catches him. Look at that rocket. All right, see there, that, that almost broke his shield. Three rockets in a row, and then that's there. That would, I think it poked through though at the top. Yeah. Down and smash will down do it. Smash. I think, is that, yeah, that's oh. the down smash or the tilt. All right. He oh, up. he went for it. He got the shield poke, it looks like. Yep. Oh, and he's juggling him with the up, up smash. smash. That is ridiculous. That's pretty rock star right there. That is. Oh, he went for another one. He got two. Good tech. Oh. Oh, it doesn't, doesn't follow it. He needs to end his stock soon, or um, he will just bombard him with rockets and yep. pan. He, he needs to finish his plate, which is a lot of a lot of these players have problems doing. Mm. There we go. Did um, he get him with an up smash? Yes, that's that, the fourth up smash in a row. <laughs> wow. Jeez. Oh. Uh. Mm, reads the roll and does the forward smash. Oh my god, what was that? He gets the full charge forward smash, but he hits it in the wrong direction. He would have. Oh. He's a big fan of fully charging things. Yeah. I, I, 
You don't want to fully charge his uh, neutral B, though, because then you take damage for that. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Mm, double fair. Edge guarding with smash attacks. I do cannot agree with that, sir. I'm sorry. You gotta get out mm, there and have some have some sure. Kajonas. Keith all it has is he just needs to land a, a nair or mm. a smash attack or something. Looking pretty grim for Marlin, but uh, ooh, he lands that. He could bring this back. Keith is from the Kenai Peninsula, just for those who don't know. He's probably, no, he's for sure the best player in the Kenai Peninsula. Oh, wow. All right, and Keith takes it, ties it up, 1-1. Mm -hmm. Let's see what Marlon's going to do about this, if he's just going to run it back. Or, yep. Final D. Final D? That's what I that's <laughs> I've got I'm a guessing. final D for you. <laughs> like they're contemplating here. Style or die. That's the fact of life. All right. You go to Battlefield. No, I don't see him use uh Samus has a crawl now. I don't see him use it all that much. Uh, ooh, converts the forward air to the grab, mm. doesn't go anywhere with it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a forward tilt or a, a down tilt. The Samus? Yeah, that was a down smash. Down smash, it's that fast? It is. That's ridiculous. Gets the oh, ooh, gets nice. the edge guard. That's gonna put Keith definitely ahead. For sure. I think he, he's understanding like all the, the Roy shenanigans now that happened. And you know Keith is really good on platforms too, so it's not uh, a disadvantage for him. Spam some missiles, do some platform cancel missiles. Yeah, see, he, he shielded the entire thing because he he knows he's doing all the, the all four hits of the sword stance, so as opposed to most players, will just do one or two. Yeah, hit him with several up airs. Ooh, oh, and gets yeah. them with the back air, which is very strong in here. Goes for the doubles there again. Mm. And gets him with the, that down smash. is just way too quick. That's Hit him nuts. with a strong rocket. Can he get it? Yep. He mm. gets the air dodge to grab on the, for that recovery. Very, oh. I knew that was coming. Uh, Ooh. Turnaround grab, interesting. Maybe he was going. He didn't. Uh, he thought he was going to read his it. Jump. I don't think he confirmed his jump, but he yeah. was trying to jump for a Zare again. Another pitfall is there, but. Ooh, grab combo. No follow up. Goes for that up smash. He really likes the, doing that rock star up smash. Oh, uh, there. No. No punish. Interesting. Playing it safe. <laughs> goes he for that is up bringing smash. it back. My God, he's waiting for it. Dude, that rock star pose is just too strong. It is too cool. <laughs> oh, counter he right. countered the rocket. Does absolutely nothing for him. And, <laughs> and there we go. With the fire fist. All right, just go for a raw forward smash or something. Ooh. The fourth hit land. <laughs> Keith's head in his hands. Oh just my like, gosh. why did I get hit by that? Well, and this, this is, is down to the wire. This is, is a lot more surprising than I thought it would be. I think uh, Marlin's starting to f figure it out a little better. His spacing. Yeah, they're both they're both being able to read each other a lot better and figure out each other's shenanigans. Oh, this will be. Ooh, doesn't mm. go for the space at all with the sword stance. He's still got his jump. He's gonna get back, but he's gonna get knocked out again. This should be it. He knows how to. Ooh. Oh, that'll be interesting, and I, he'll make it back. Stays there and rockets. avoids those missiles. Getting some shield mm. pressure on that platform. Gets that back air. Ooh, another back air. Oh, went for the Goes for that rock smash. star. He just He, he may get the last kill with it. We'll see. 
Oh, right oh, there. Oh, man. misspaced it. He, uh, he was his own worst enemy with those up smashes there, but they were stylish, yeah. so you got to give him that. He got the swag points, but he the swag points do not win the match, believe it or not. <laughs> he won the swag game, that's for sure. All right, so up next on stream, we got... James versus Kyle. We've got oh, James versus Kyle. James versus Kyle. It'll be interesting to see who James plays because... Uh, and it'll be interesting to see who Kyle, Diz Kid Boogie, plays. If he sticks with Ice Climbers and Project M or if he goes with Mark, who I hear he's been playing. <laughs> which one? Which one? That one? That one right there? There's like a lot of guys with glasses in here, especially in like wearing red. Like as you can see, like three in the background. Owen.